A call for change this morning in the Mid City area after another deadly crash that police say was a case of street racing. This time, a car went airborne, flipped onto its side, and killed two people. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal is live at the scene where neighbors say, Enough's enough. Jasmine. Yeah, Jeff, we're here along West Adams Boulevard. We're talking four accidents here in two days. The one that happened right behind me here on this sidewalk was fatal. The one that you were mentioning, you see some of the car parts still scattered across the sidewalk, and neighbors here say they are scared to drive. Horrific. Bang. No skids. Bang. Rochelle Rustin first heard and then saw this deadly wreck just down the street from her home along West Adams Boulevard last night. Out of control drivers. The driver and a passenger in this mangled, overturned Silver Scion were killed when they slammed into a truck headed in the opposite direction. Investigators think the driver of the car was possibly street racing. That's a big accident. The car jumped all the way to the fence. Arcadio Resendez also witnessed the crash and says he sees drivers racing through here all the time, treating it like the 10 freeway. Look at these guys. Probably like 50, 60 miles for sure. What's the speed limit here? It's got to be 35. These same neighbors also heard this crash on Adams Boulevard hours earlier during the day yesterday. According to police, this driver was possibly under the influence when they slammed into a tree and hit a woman walking her dog. Both were injured. There was a loud screech and then, a, oh my God, come help me. So we went outside and we tried to help her. And the dog had a broken leg and it was a mess. It's really unfortunate. Then again, this morning, another fender bender. A mother was rear ended by a truck that ran a red light. I pass every morning for here and always there's accidents. They hit me like really hard. This is the third accident within two days. It's actually the fourth accident. Mark Singleton saw several cars collide near 3rd and Adams. There needs to be more help as far as uh, law enforcement, city councils, and what have you, as to notify people about the driving conditions and as well as with the Department of Motor Vehicles. The 44-year-old driver of the truck involved in the crash here last night was injured but is expected to be okay. There was another passenger, Jeff and Sandra, in that car who was critically hurt.